Hello my family, welcome to Direct TV bringing to you the truth. Welcome guys to another special episode of my video. And in today's video guys, I am right here with the man of God by person of Pastor Dr. Paul in nature. And in today's video, Pastor Paul in nature actually um, will be sharing a story of how his wife actually, um, you know, um, preached to a cultist guy. Alright, and several things happen, alright. So I'd like you to listen and then immediately after the man of God, um, uh, Pastor Paul Nature is done, I'll be right back to introduce the man of God by a person of Apostle Johnson Suleiman on what he's going to be saying guys. But before we dive into today's video, for those of you who are coming newly to my channel, this is your first time of coming to my channel, please just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel so that you can be getting all of my videos. And if you have not liked today's video, please hit the like button and like today's video so that this video can be recommended to other people. And then watch this guys, I'll be right back to share with you the rest of what I have for you. Please watch this. While we're in the university, my wife preached to a young man. And the young man said to her, you want me to change? I have killed. I am a member of so and so. We kill. My wife said, I'm coming. Not my wife, Sister Becky. <laughs> you say, Excuse me, sir. There is somebody who say he has killed before. I don't know how to lead that time to Christ. <laughs> I'm even afraid. I said, Bring him. He didn't start today. Bring him. He didn't start today. Melt him down. Tell me the kind of things you do. After he said everything, I said, you need Jesus now to be free. He said, yes, sir. Led him to Christ, laid hands on him, checked out the devils. Checked out the devils. After he gave his life to Christ, his colleagues began to look for him. That they want to, I mean, that it was impossible for him to come out. That they were going to kill him. He was planted in a church. And in the church, they connected him with a serving officer in the army. That this, this young man has just given his life to Christ from killers. And they said they are going to kill him for coming out. And the officer said, let's go and see their leader. So they went together. And the man brought out his service pistol. He said, see this boy? That is, you are the one to watch him. If one head fall from his head, I will personally shoot you. I won't hand you over to anybody. I will shoot you. That is brother, brother in church. Who said that we cannot be rugged? If the devil, if the devil comes in the spirit, deal with him in the spirit. Hey. If he comes in the hey, physical. Hey, 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 hey. Now, right, my family, there you have it with the man of God, Pastor Paul and Nature. And now, guys, I would really like you to listen to this um, inspiring piece uh, from the man of God, Apostle um, Johnson Suleiman, as he actually shares concerning um, the fact that you have to be able to fight battles. You know, you as a Christian, you need to learn how to fight battles. So, Apostle Johnson Suleiman is going to be talking about how you should fight battles all right very very important and before we guys in watching the man of god apostle um johnson suleiman for those of you who have not yet commented on what bless you as you listen to the man of god um by personal pastor paul nature please do so and then if you have not yet um, subscribed to my channel this is your first time my channel please subscribe and if you have not yet liked today's video please hit the like button like today's video and then watch the man of god apostle johnson suleiman right now and I'll be right back immediately after this to share with you the rest of what I have for you. Please watch this. Years ago, many years ago, and I was seated in the church. I mean, it's a church. They don't, they don't invite. They don't give people their microphone. 
But I have a relationship with the set man of the ministry. So I was in town. He said, Apostle, can you just talk to our people for like 20 minutes? I said, why not? So I sat down. And there was this guy that came on the pulpit, a great guy. He was doing his own thing. He came out. He said, witchcraft is not real. It's a figment of your imagination. Ooh. Demons don't exist. It's a figment of your imagination. Mm -hmm. He began to talk. He said, once you're in Christ, hallelujah. Once you're in Christ, hallelujah. Forget about it. I said, who? So, he opened the book. He said, the Greek word, the Greek word, it continues, continues. This is Africa. This is not Greece. Greek word, don't open the eyes of the blind. Greek word, don't make the lame walk. Greek word, don't make the barren fruitful. I have no problem with Greek word, but I use them in the Greek. I, I read the Bible in Hebrew and Greek. It's important when I get to Greece. Not here, not Africa. Oh, you don't understand. The demons in America are very compassionate and very understanding. American demons are computer literate. They are very understanding and compassionate. They won't stop you from having a child. You have the child, they'll just hook the child on drugs. They are very understanding. African demons are very old and very experienced. Very crude. The demons in America are the ones the Bible says in Genesis 3. Now the serpent. But the demons in Africa, Revelation 12. Now the dragon. So you need... So pull down the ass, the, the glass of Africa is not with a sling and a stone. You need something more than this world to conquer the God of this world. Am I communicating? Hello guys, welcome back for another amazing video with the highly esteemed man of God by person of Apostle Johnson Suleiman and the man of God, Pastor Paul and Neche, as he enlightened us very deeply in today's video. Alright guys, before I go ahead and sharing what has actually inspired me in today's video, for those of you coming newly into my channel please go ahead and just hit the um subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and if you haven't liked today's video please hit the like button and like today's video and guys um concerning what has blessed me in today's video starting from the man of god pastor paul and nature all right he talked about the story of his wife you know actually we had the wife preached to the cultist guy that gave his life to christ and let me tell you a lot of these guys all right they, they don't enjoy the life they are living all right so you can imagine what that brother did that brother in church that actually took the guy this courses to the you know the person that was um head over all the courses and this is a brother in church all right the brother in church went and told the head of the courses if any drop of air should leave the courses head he's going to shoot the he's going to shoot him personally and that's one amazing thing all right just have to um, you know be radical for god i heard a story one time of um a particular set of okay this is what happened in the church the the church they are staying in the rented apartment so when the church um maybe they didn't pay the rent on time all right so they went that sunday morning everybody came to church and the owner of the house put a padlock in the house and then um, when the owner of the house put the padlock, when the brethren came, they looked for padlock, the owner of the house locked the house and went out. The brethren, you know, went ahead in passing through the roof and then break the door and open the church. So some Christians are just so radical for God because just do what they can for God, guys. So if you are out there, you're going to be radical for God. Do, do something radical for God, guys. Thank you so much, guys, for watching today's video. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel. Bye.